Hello Sagittarius, what is going on? <laughs> um, I feel like there's about to be some kind of breakthrough because the Ace of Swords is just trying to jump out of the deck. Um, I hope you're doing really well. My name is Diane. Look at that. You definitely you have some kind of union coming in, like marriage, long-term commitment. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do a reading for March, but you know it is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. Uh, you're very, very welcome here, Sagittarius. Sagi Wagi. <laughs> um, thank you so much for checking out the reading. Hopefully it will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And um, you know, if that is the case, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that very much. I feel like there's a breakthrough here, like there was some stuck energy, like with the Eight of Wands, sorry, the Eight of Swords, so I don't know if you're, you're kind of coming out of an energy of like thinking things are too good to be true, you know? What is the message for Sagittarius? Oh, I want to turn that music down, sorry. What is the message for Sagittarius? Oh, you got two. <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's funny. You got um, the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of uh, Cups, which is either one person or two people we're gonna have to elaborate on that. Okay. Well, you you either have one person coming towards you, or you, ha or you have two people. So, <laughs> what's the okay? You have the tower. Something's happening. Some kind of breakthrough. Some kind of tower, like in a good way. I like the tower because it means things are changing. You know, like. And with these knights here, it's something good. It's like things are finally moving. Why are both of these knights here? Why are both of these knights here? The two of cups, Oh. Oh. <laughs> so you have a soulmate, or well, at least one of these. Is, is, it one, is it one person or two people? Why is there two knights here? Is there one person or two people? Wow, you are really headed towards something beautiful here. Um, you have the four of wands has just fallen out. I think this is just one person, you know. We'll see as more cards come out, but you are headed towards something beautiful. It could be one person with water and earth in their chart. But see with the two of cups and the four of wands, like you are headed towards a commitment, Sagittarius, with a soulmate. And you know, it's something with the four of wands, like very, very stable, very happy, like a happy life, happy home, peace, stability. Who is this person uh, coming towards Sagittarius? Who is this person coming towards Sagittarius? You have the Six of Wands. So this has been something, this is something that's been delayed, I would say. Who is this person coming towards Sagittarius? The Nine of Swords. So this, this has been a warrior. Like this is someone that's been overthinking everything. Which I think is what they're getting past. Because um, the Six of Wands indicates like a victory over an obstacle. It also indicates delays. So it's delayed news, but it's finally, I want to say finally, movement forward. Because this person was just a massive overthinker, but that's what they've conquered. Like overthinking everything to it, you know, till they drive themselves mad and then don't do anything, you know? Because I do that all the time, you know, when you overthink something and then you're like, oh my god, 
Now I don't know what to do. I'm just not going to do anything. You know what I mean? Tell me more about this person. Who's this person coming towards Sagittarius? Ha, caught it. You have the Knight of Wands, which is Leo energy. This Judgment card. Yeah. Who's this person coming towards Sagittarius? Queen of Swords, the Empress, I don't like the way that I pulled those, <laughs> who's this person coming towards Sagittarius, okay you have the Magi oh the Queen of uh, Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is someone very very stable, like very very stable, um, it could be a single mother, someone with their own business, someone who works from home, like good at making money. Someone who, you know, they're really going to support you. Like it's that kind of true love where, you know, they just totally got your back, basically, this person. They're very grounded, very loving, very stable. Who is this person coming towards Sag? You have the Hermit. You could have a Virgo coming towards you. I think this might be two people. Swords. This Knight of Wands is someone that you've been in separation with who now doesn't want to be in separation with you. The Judgment card is usually a card of reconciliation. Who's this Knight of Wands? The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups have just come out together. Ten of Swords. Okay, why is the Ten of Swords there? The Six of Swords. And who is this Queen of Pentacles Hermit energy? world. The Magician. Page of Pentacles. Again, I don't like the way that I pulled those. <laughs> um, who is this Queen of Pentacles Hermit energy? I like it when they just fall out. Who is this Queen of Pentacles? You have the Six of Pentacles. I think there's two different energies here. Like there seems to be a past player sort of energy or someone who not necessarily a player, but they were very chaotic, very in and out, maybe a little immature. And they're coming back for a reconciliation. It's someone that you've been separate from for a while. I think they left. I think this is someone that ghosted you. And then I think you have this other energy here who is the person that you're actually going to end up with, who I think is this King of Cups energy, because there's someone here it's one of these people because the energy is so different I just feel like it has to be two people like this um king of cups with the queen of cups like one of these people is your perfect partner who's going to make you very happy because you're the same and I feel like it's this um more grounded giving energy because the Queen of Pentacles and the Hermit are both Virgo cards, so this could be a Virgo. And the Six of Pentacles is like someone very giving, like a very equal give and take. 
I feel like this hermit energy, they're more quiet, they're more introverted, whereas this knight of wands, they're more extrovert. Either way, I feel like it's been a delay. I feel like you've waited for both of these people to come in. And now it's, it's kind of almost like they come at exactly the same time or very close together. We have some messages from this Knight of Wands. Can we have some messages from the Knight of Wands, please? The tower, yeah, this is, this, yeah, mm-hmm. This is not, listen, it's your choice. But remember I was saying about the king and the queen of cups here, that this would be your perfect partner. So you be the king or you be the queen, you know, you just, whatever you want. But this person here has just come out as like the king of cups in reverse. So... I feel like this person here is someone from your past and I feel like Spirit is saying like obviously it's your choice, you have free will but I feel like you're better suited to this newer energy. Um, this, this past person, there was some kind of tower with them and I feel like they left. I feel like they ghosted you or they ran away and I feel like it was a painful ending with them. Yeah, the hanged man. We both need time to think about what we want. So you've been waiting for this person, like this past person. I feel like there's an ending, to be honest, with the world. Honestly, I feel like this, this past energy is going to come in and there's going to be an ending. And then there's this new person. Tell me, can we have some messages from this newer person? The newer person is like, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I want our relationship to last, let's put in the work. This new person could be um, earth slash water. They might veer more towards water energy though, like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They're very sweet, very loving, very, very generous, very gentle, very giving, um, maybe a little, I don't want to say placid, but they might tend towards that, you know, like a little repressed, maybe, is the only criticism I would make of the King of Cups, really. Uh, they might be very creative, they might do something creative for a living, or work in like healthcare, or spirituality, or charity work, or something, but they're very, very grounded. You have the Knight of Pentacles twice, like they might be very slow moving. This person is very fast, like boom, 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 like chaos energy, in and out. This new person is very slow, very deliberate, very methodical. Um, I feel like the reason that the new person took so long to move is <laughs> because they, they overthink everything and worry. Especially if they have Virgo in their chart, like that's just a, a done deal, like they're going to overthink things and worry. But this is someone that wants to put in their work and this is the one that you're going to be happy with like the four of wands the two of cups this is a kindred soul this is like your other half someone that you can really build a happy home with and like i said they're very generous very giving not just in terms of money i mean they might it might be that too i'm sure it will be but in terms of like wanting it to be equal like you know giving you as much emotionally as you give them you know like when you support them, they're right back, you know, they're right there supporting you back. Um, what would this new person like to say to Sagittarius? Anything else this new person would like to say? The magician, with you I have everything I need. You are everything this new person has ever wanted, basically. You have the hermit. <laughs> Um, wants to come out again, so it could definitely be Virgo. I think this newer person, like I said, they're more quiet. They're more introverted. They might even be a little shy. So it just takes them a little longer. Um, it's just me and you, nothing else matters. Honestly, I feel like this new person, if it was just you and them till like the end of time, they'd be like, cool, okay. 
fine with that. And you have the King of Pentacles here. You make me feel happy, comfortable, and protected. So could definitely be like Virgo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This new person, you have the Nine of Pentacles here. I love how strong and independent you are. See, you might have clashed a little bit. I'm picking up like with this past person, you know, because you are Sagittarius. You are very independent. Um, and the past, I don't know. You know, if they're a fire sign as well, I don't know, maybe you guys clashed or, look, there's Virgo again. <laughs> Tell me about this new person. Virgo just tried to flip out, okay. There is so much Virgo here. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. The new person has Virgo in their chart somewhere, okay? Which, like I said, the, it's they will be an overthinker, okay? That's just who Virgos are. Um, anything else about the new person? I'm just going to take two. Any other signs for the new person? In fact, tell me about this past person. Give me one sign for this past person. Give me one sign for the past person, Capricorn. Give me one sign for the new person, Pisces. Uh, so that could be what they have, earth and water, Virgo and Pisces. And one for the past person. Aquarius, so they could have Aquarius in their chart. Um, I can't pick up this card, oh my god. Okay, let's talk about this new person. Characteristics for the new person. Curly hair. Ah. Pisces. <laughs> so they could definitely have Pisces. Tell me about the new person. Authentic. Tell me about the new person for Sagittarius. Loving. Introvert. Tell me about the new person for Sagittarius. Loyal, best friend. Yeah, see, I feel like they're just gonna feel like your best friend. <laughs> I think you and this new person are gonna spend a lot of time together. Anything else for the new person? Protective. Oh, there's a bunch there. I'm gonna take them because they were kind of stuck to each other. You have red hair, so they could have red hair, but I also take that to be a Scottish card. Like, they could be Scottish, so if you're trying to choose between you know, I don't know, maybe this other person's like French or something. I don't know. Or American, right? <laughs> um, that's only going to be maybe for, I don't know, maybe that's for one person. And you have calm. So the new person's a much more calm energy. Anything about the new person for Sag? I'm going to get two more. Anything else about the new person? Caring. And one more dark hair okay and this past person anything about this past person for Sagittarius wow fire sign so that would be Aries Leo Sagittarius anything else about this past person What else about this past person? You have passionate, independent. What else about this past person? Strong. So they might be quite strong-willed. The past energy, you know, like kind of unyielding. Uh, glasses. Past person might have had glasses. Anything else about the past person? Anything else about the past person? You have blue eyes, energetic. I really feel like you have two total opposites here. Like one of them's like, you know, fiery, let's go, go, go. And the other one's more like, let's just chill and think about things, let's be calm. Uh, anything else about this past person? Oh, so, see, I feel like that's meant to be here because I was talking about this, pa uh, the new person. Tell me about the, the new, the, See, that's why. 
stumbling over my words. Tell me about the past person. Let's get two more. Blonde hair. And so they can have blue. That's funny, because like this person has dark hair and this person has blue eyes and blonde hair. That's funny. Um, and one more about the past person. Or, or two, also fine. You have nurturing and generous. I feel like that's more this new energy. But... Because I said that so many times about this new person coming in. I'm really tempted to put them over here. I'm going to reshuffle. Give me two more about this past um, person. I'll tell you what though. This new person is dominant within the energy, okay? The, this person, it's, it's funny. This person, the past energy, clearly has like the stronger personality. And I feel like they're kind of bullshy and like used to getting their own way and maybe a bit loud. But this, this newer person is much more quiet and like introverted and calm, but they're taking over the energy. It's like they're just quietly and gently closing the door on this person and that's it. That's it. Like there's no, there's no fuss, there's no fighting. I'm just quietly taking over your energy and closing the door. That's it. Tell me, give me a couple more about this past person. Do you know what? I don't want, I don't want to pull anymore for the past. That's just how the reading is going. I will take this bottom one, um, light hair, because I feel like the past has lighter hair. Okay, so, I'll tell you something, like your new person, um, they're very, they're very calm, but they have a very authoritative stance here. Because they've basically just come in and said, that's the end. <laughs> like, you don't need to pull any more cards. That's it. So, that's it. I'm going to leave it there, Sag. I really like this person. Really nice energy. So, I hope this was a useful reading for you, Sag. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I would appreciate it a lot. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care.